you've worked with porcelain be before, you would know, and I showed you that in a previous video, that the clay is very dry and then it gets dirty and it gets saturated with water too fast. So we're going to go right into the clay particles at this stage. I'm going to do a comparison between a stoneware or a sedimentary clay and then we're going to go to a primary clay and we're going to discuss the actual interior of that clay body. Let's back up for a second and look at this part right here. We're going to look at sedimentary clay, which is your natural clay. Your first introduction to somebody, a person, is many times a hand check. This is our hand check with porcelain. Now you start learning a little bit about this person. You learn about this person's emotions. You learn about this person's tolerance. And you learn how you need to handle this person's character. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start pinching. And when I start pinching on, on this clay, it is going to show me, if I can get that camera to get closer, it's going to show me whether this clay is going to crack on me or not. You can tell at this stage the clay goes very nicely that it sits around the wall. In other words, if as you pinch over there, you're orientating those clay particles. And this creates a very, very strong bond between those. Uh, because as you orientate the particles, you're also compressing the particles. And it's a very important thing to remember about pinch balls. The next thing that I want to address is my bowl of water that I have in front of me. Now, many of you will automatically, when morning comes and you need to start throwing on the wheel, you will rush for a new and a fresh bucket of water. I don't do that. You can see there's some remnants of previous throwing down in my, uh, in my clay water. And I added some vinegar. Okay. I'm going to give this pot a belly now. So my outer hand is going to meet up with the inner hand or the, the, the dominant hand is going to meet up with the non-dominant hand and it's going to support the clay just below. In other words, if I can stop for a second right there and show you, my fingers is going to be in this position. If I can get that camera to come around here to see what's happening right here on top of this hand. I want to show you how it's taking the excess slip away. Remember the vinegar? It's deflocculating the clay a little bit on the exterior and allows me to take all the excess clay away. Note that this pot is a little thicker on the rim than the other ones that we will be working on and once again it's because you're working with a piece of kitchen kitchenware here or at least in my book that's what it's going to be used for and when we get to the design part of this e-course we will talk a little bit more about what is suitable for what circumstances so I'm compacting for one and I'm also taking those lines out and since I have that curve working for me already I'm just going to turn it around and run right into that bottom, compact the clay right there. Note my pinky holds it sturdy and my other hand is right there on the other side pushing back against the piece. And then when I take it back to the very first drawing that I was busy making when you got into the class, 
you get to what I'm doing with my own work. I'm creating lines like this in which I use movement because movement reaches people, it reaches things, it creates circles, it creates cycles. And I hope this is giving you a little bit of insight in designing your bowls.